Uh, so the other piece here is that a number of studies have now shown that these, if you do mitochondria transfer into T cells, it actually mm -hmm. causes them to differentiate towards a regulatory T cell phenotype. T cells often will produce these pro-inflammatory cytokines and they help to orchestrate the immune response. Regulatory T cells express a cytokine called interleukin-10, and that is the sort of master suppressor of the immune response. It is the break that the immune system uses to keep itself Got it. in Got it. so, and that is induced with mitochondria transfer. Right. So, so immune system, there's lots of different cell types. Some of them are basically pro-inflammatory cells. Some of them are anti-inflammatory cells. There's always some kind of dance that happens with how many of each type you have and when they're working and, and how they're turning on and turning off all of these different immune responses. You're saying that in some cases, at least mitochondria can go into a regulatory T cell and basically cause it to become the more inflammation resolving type of T cell. 